good morning all and we have just started and I'm about to put some lights on side lights probably aren't enough um, the street light that we backed up against did not fall over which is ideal um, and now we are basically heading out onto the road um, last night we went for a little bit of a jolly on the scooter and went for a bit of a paddle in the sea couldn't really swim because I didn't really want to leave the scooter but also the um, the wind was a bit angry if I'm honest so the sea was a bit uh, all over the place so couldn't bother with that we just got to get out of this gravel car park big drop curb here uh, well I say drop curb it doesn't actually drop it's just literally a curb um, so we're just going to do that the inverter's on I don't know if you're flashing out or not, but I can't quite see. Alright, oh, that is us down the curve. Let's get out of here. I hope everyone is doing um, well, and I hope everyone is having a good time. I'm probably going to have to, I haven't edited any of this footage from the whole journey since we left, but I'm probably going to have to split this into a video, so I might do this here, so this might be part like off the trip as we go into up into Barcelona um, but I'll have to see how much footage I get see so we're obviously in the town of Margaret de Mar um, I think so we can't go up there we can go up this one not that one but yeah we've got all of the complexes the, the uh, holidays and villas and all that sort of stuff um, which is exciting. I was partly waking up really. Ah, I'm yawning. And I had loads of sleep, but still not quite awake yet. Literally go around this corner, join the main road, and then head up out, out of the town, onto, back onto the motorway. Badalona. Um, it's such a weird sight that you see. Like, so it's like big, like tower-style blocks of apartments and that. And like, they've got their like bikes and stuff like hanging from their balconies and stuff like that. Just like, obviously, because the storage I assume isn't that great. There's anywhere to put them. Um, but it's yeah, it's very meters. chill. Um, I'm trying to work out. I need the B10. We'll work out where the B10 is. I don't know if we're going right here. Oh, we're going, we're keeping left by the sounds of it. Use the left lane to take the exit towards Cinturoli Toral. So we need the left lane. Let's move over then. And uh, this one or one more? Meters. One more thing. That's it. This is the one. We're about 11 minutes away, supposedly. Um, so we'll see how we get on here. That's all weight limit apparently. Do this way and see. We just basically want to come off the C32 that we're on and onto the B10. And the B10 will follow us all the way down. In 500 meters, merge onto B10. Left. Yep. Well, that's the one. We did look at it on the back beforehand, so um, that tree was really low. Considering that. Uh, Lane. Right, and that is us merged on to the V10. Let's see how we get on. Look at me sometimes, like all you want to do is run. Hear me out, hear me out. If... Right, I think that's where we're going to be parking for the weekend. But as of now, I have no idea where we want to be. Uh, that sign says Disney Dream Section C. So let's try that. Exit the I just basically put the port terminal in 
um, Google Maps. So hopefully. Continue on Dick Delay for one and a half kilometers. Disney Dream C. It says 3.45. I hope it's not 3.45 because that'll be a, um, a bit late in my schedule. Uh, but we got some big folks and uh, all that. Put the camera in the side map. Camera is on. All I know is it's over the bridge and then right from what it looks like on Google Maps. Is the Disney Dream there? Is that the Disney Dream? I do not know. Uh, the side camera is on, so I'll put the side camera next to this. Um, no one showered at us yet for being where we are. So we'll see what happens. I'm hoping it's just going to be in and out, like, really quickly. Because, like I say, we've only got two pallets. So, um, hopefully, the sun's trying to break through that big black cloud. No, it might have to just rain the whole time. Really know where I'm going. Side camera's wonky. We got a wonky side camera, guys. Just to let you know, Terminal A. It's not what we want, is it? We want Terminal C from what it said on the sign. We're a little bit early, whether that'll be a problem or not, I don't know. It says authorised vehicles only, but I haven't had to. There's B. I'm assuming it's In that big ship there. The the I think we've arrived. Uh, we have arrived. Uh, okay. Well, that's ideal. There's a booth there, so we'll go and speak to the man here. Turn the side camera off so we don't have a camera in it. Oh, he's opened it. That's not very helpful, is it? There's no one in there. Right, not very helpful. Right. Uh, let's wing up to our Let's do it this way. C is straight across. Terminal C. Exit the roundabout onto all deponent. Then your destination will be on the right. Oh, I think we've gone all the way. got the wrong way but I don't know where you're going to go. It's really busy so I wonder whether that boat's just come in. Yeah, it looks like they're literally just departing from the ship. Probably should have gone down that way now. Ah, we might have to do some laps. I don't really know where I'm meant to go. Is that Terminal C that at ah, ah, Terminal C? Is there. There's the Disney Dream ship. I'll do a, do a lap, turn around, and then go back around. I'll come back in a second. Right guys, so I've just parked up. There's a load of other lorries here. Um, we're basically parked in a car park he said my brief spanish was to wait here but he's delivering to a boat behind us not to the disney dream so i don't really know if i'm in the right place um gonna have to go and check there is two people in high visits over there so i might pop over and speak to them if not i am not entirely sure i'll have to wing it and see what happens all right guys we are free. I'm going out on no entry. As apparently I can. Just zoom out of here. No laws were broken in the process. Right, so I've just spoken to someone um, and they basically said all of those lorries that we were sat with there uh, are for a different cruise ship and we need Terminal A, Door 1. So. I'm just going to go and find Terminal A, Door 1 now. Uh, there's our Disney Dream cruise liner ship, which is absolutely massive. Um, so what I'm going to do is basically drive on down there and try and find where it is. 
the office have sent me a thing. He said Terminal A, door 1. Oh my god, damn it, went the wrong way. Oh, we're gonna have to go do a lap. I'll go do a lap and see what happens. All spun around and we are going for Terminal A, door 1. I just slightly missed it a minute ago so I had to turn around. Um, which is all good. Um, I've just seen a security guard at Terminal A, so um, we're going to go and have a look. It'll be interesting now whether we get back in the port because they've got security in that now, whereas earlier on they didn't have any security. So um, yeah, we'll have to see what happens on that one. Um, driven past the parking area we're parking in for the weekend, so that'll be fun, um, as you would have seen earlier on. And uh, yeah. Basically, let's see if Mate Boy stops. I need to go right. He was so confused. The security guard in the office was so confused. Is this guy going the same place as us or not? Right, Terminal A and B, Barcelona Cruise Terminals. Let's go and see. <coughs> there was a lorry down here from, like, like I looked from above. Um, but whether we're in the right place or not is, is uh, still unknown. I'm assuming you'll drive in here and then probably drive down the port. Because not all the gateways are open into the port. That's Terminal B. And then we've got Terminal A here. Right then. Oh, it's two, two lines there. we got to basically go and check. Now I know, you've got to go and check with the guy that the reg is the right vehicle reg. I have to stop here. That's this transit. No, she's not bothered. Um, there is a guy over here. Port door one. Let's have a look. Right, wish me luck, guys. Got me little pass. Just says supplier 13. Um, so that's all good to go. The woman's just walking around with her, um, uh, what's it called? A mirror, Show, looking underneath the lorry. Make sure no one's underneath. Um, and then we are all good to go. Just like that, we are off. Onto the port of Barcelona. He said, go really slow. He actually said fast, but I think he meant slow, past these people. Um, so we'll do that over here, preferably. This place is massive. It makes your lorry look tiny. It makes it mental. Right, let's try uh, nicely drive down here without running anyone over. What I'll do is I'll put it on the time lapse for this little bit. Here we have the Viking Jupiter just coming into dock. The size of it. Mental. And then down there we have our one. The Disney Dream. That area and I could hear the sound of water dripping. And then I looked up. And this is the bloke. And he's just washing the window on a rail. Going around. As you do. Can you wash my lorry at the same time? So cool. <laughs>
with great success we are free um just well it's 12 o'clock now so quite a lot of hours uh considering we only had two pallets it was quite a lot of time if i'm honest um but yeah I opened the door and they were like two pallets and I was like I did say this like five times that there was only two pallets but it was almost like they were shocked and they loved it because it was tipped in like a couple of seconds but um yeah it's been nice to be fair I've been I had a nap and then I watched some of the I watched the people unloading from the ship I watched the new people loading onto the ship and then um yeah you get to see all these sort of ships and stuff as well so this one at the end is absolutely massive um, I don't know whether it's just a different sort of layout or it looks different, but it's different from the one we just did too. But yeah, we're going to go get parked up and we're going to go and see uh, what uh, well, the rest of the weekend entails. I don't know if you guys will be able to hear me, uh, but I'll put you down here just to give you a reasonable view of this ship. It has slides and everything, um, so that's pretty cool. Hey guys, we are all parked and I've just been around with the jet wash and washed the trailer, wheels and the unit wheels and the unit, the whole unit itself. So it's looking proper good now and now I'm going to go earn my reward and go to the beach. I'm just on a walk around Barcelona quite cool to be fair. Uh, just saw a barber's, so went and got a fresh cut. Um, can't deny that, 12 euros, so cheaper than my uh, barber in the UK. So I feel like I betrayed him because I've not come to anyone else for about four years, but I needed a haircut. I should have done something about this as well, but my Spanish is only too skin very please. Uh, and now I'm gonna get to the beach for a bit. So guys, I just woke up. I'm not sure what's going on here. Basically loads of cars with all their belongings on their roof. People sleeping outside and stuff, so interesting. So guys, we are at the Barcelona Cathedral. And it is absolutely massive. Um, shame about the big fence, but they want you to pay like the 40 million euros or whatever it is to get in. Um, apparently it's 100% worth it, but I'm not queuing in the queue. So um, yeah, it's pretty cool though. So it's all still not finished yet. But it does look good. Hi guys, so we have uh, just pulled out of the parking area and we are back on the main route, back out of Barcelona. Um, basically the sun had wanted us to go one way and I was looking at it over the weekend and I wasn't too sure. And then we, I pulled out and I looked at it as I pulled out and I was like, well, that says 18 ton for Barcelona North. So I'm assuming that that's like a, a no go. So what I'm gonna do is go 
around the motorway route rather than like the other route. Um, so yeah, we're on back on under the ground. Um, so hopefully we will get out of here uh, about 40 minutes away. So we should get there still an hour earlier than expected, which is good. But obviously it's 20 past eight. So I assume if they're gonna have a rush hour, it's probably gonna be their rush hour around this time. Or it might not be because they might still be asleep. Well, not all of them, obviously. But yeah, so we're going to head on through, obviously, all the way back through this section. And um, yeah, get there. When we get there, the free go is on. Uh, it'll set minus 25 because it's 24 degrees outside. So uh, it needs to get cool before we get to our collection. And hopefully, we'll get there and we'll be collected and on the go pretty quickly. going good we hit a bit of traffic but uh, apart from that it's all gravy um, i like how the like road structures are just like go up out of nowhere or go down on the ground and then they go underground they go underground for like ages and then they just come back up um we've come around the top side of barcelona now um so we're following signs for tarragona um, and we're just basically having a good time. What more could you want at this time in the morning on a Monday? Could think of worse places to be. I'm just arriving at the collection now, just come off the motorway. I'm not entirely sure whether we can go the way I want to go. It looks like there's quite a lot of trees, but there's two routes in, but one route said three and a half ton. We're going to try it. We're going to go up here. See what happens. Uh, the trees don't look as bad. On, on Google Maps, they look horrendous on the street view. Um, whether you're meant to come in this way, I don't know. The other way was seven and a half tons, so I don't think you'd come in that way. Can I turn in here? It's just here on the right from what I understand. in online um, with your reference number but the reference number I had none of them worked so um, basically I'm just gonna go and try and find somewhere to pull over on the side of the road um, and see how we get on with that it's annoying that she couldn't have just took the reference but I suppose it is what it is um, but yeah we'll go and find somewhere and I'll update you shortly after we crash into the back of this van Hey so guys, this is our little ramp. We just had a phone call to say come round to Bay 3. So we've come round. And this is us on Bay 3. Truck's still looking clean. And that is us parked. I wiped off some bird poo. And you can see how dirty the trailer is. Um, look at that little ramp to kick me up in the air. Proper job. Right, let's get loaded and get out on the road. So guys, we are all loaded, got the paperwork, we're ready to go, can't like to get run over by mate boy and jump in the lorry. Guys, we are off on the road. Um, just done a bit of communicating, pulled over for a second to work out which way we're going to go. Uh, and we're basically going to go the same way we came because it's, from the looks of it, it's all shut everywhere. So it's just going to be a play it safe game. It's about 200 litres more diesel going up 
to a run and across the top even though a run shut so it's sort of pointless because like you say if I have a safe it's going to be all the same either way so we're just going to travel out onto the motorway and uh, see how we get on Whew. 29 degrees outside nice and warm today yes fancy little bridge with a, like half a railway bridge for the arches and then just like a normal new bridge to be fair place um, we're looking kind of good and then it's going to look bad I reckon in a minute so as you can see up there is the mountain range which obviously is the border between France, well, Spain and France um, and we are only 15 kilometres away but from Google Maps it's saying that as soon as we get around this corner in a second that's when the traffic stops and the queues begin which I can see the back of the lorry now so I'm assuming that's there's a junction 13 and there's a queue, a junction 3 sorry there's a queue and all lorries are having to come off um, and we're having to go into the lorry park by the looks of it and from what I saw online but you can see all the cones are across now so uh, yeah we'll see what happens here Barcelona bound. Um, the whole lorry parks and all that absolutely rammed. Um, and yeah, the parking areas are unavailable. So what I've done is I've come back up the road up to this bridge, and I'm going to go and park up here. See what happens. I'm going to pull over here first <coughs> and assess the situation. See what if we can turn around and if we can go in that one, the other side. Um, or we need to go and it looks like we can just spin around. If I go and spin around and park in that park in there, maybe if there's space, it looks a bit tight. Oh, yeah, there's loads of room. I'm going to go and turn around. spin around and park that side I reckon so well as you would have seen we've just come off coming down to the services I found this services and then there's the one on the other side of the road but that's rammed so we need to spin around in the morning or later on or whatever we're gonna do and obviously go back to the services back down the motorway and hopefully cross the border later but for now I'm gonna go back to the truck and chill out for a bit even though I feel like I've done nothing today but at least we got loaded and at least we got on the road and at least we uh, managed to find somewhere to park for a bit good morning all uh, it's currently 10 to 10 and the lorry park is absolutely rammed um, still no movement on the other side so I'm guessing that the border isn't open yet Google Maps is still saying all the roads are closed um, so what I'm going to do is head back to the truck get the curtains open get the teeth brushed get some breakfast on and um, yeah, just hope for the best. It looks like everyone's sort of starting up their engines, maybe preparing to leave for 10 o'clock. I don't really know. Uh, we can only hope for the best. Nothing better to do. So the lorry is clean. Everyone's beeping at each other by the sounds of it. Don't know what's going on, but people are starting to leave. But from Google Maps, it looks like it's just shut further up the road. So it's just trying to make that decision whether I go up further or not have I missed a bit no it's just the sun um, oh hello a bit wonky but yeah alright I'm going to get some food and uh, decide what to do right guys welcome back we are just setting off back on the road a lot of people have left so um, from what I can see that the road is potentially open again now um, but for us we're just going to see how we go uh, I've got to go up, turn around and then come back down so hopefully um, we can see if the road's going and moving there's a lot more trucks out there on the main road so fingers crossed um, but for now I'll leave you to it and I'll update you once we get spun around and up to the border this didn't last very long we spun around, joined the motorway and now we are three lorries 
a berth um, coming down. We're still eight kilometres, I think, or eight or nine kilometres from where we were yesterday at the junction where we um, pulled off and span around. Um, and it's just three lanes of traffic, so this could be good fun. It's going to be a long, long day from what I can see. Here we are guys, France! Well hey, um, basically I don't really know what's going on because there's been absolute carnage, everyone's been coming off so I don't know whether we're going to get to like partly into France and then we might get turned around and get sent back because it might be closed but there's been no signs saying, there's been signs saying like no exit here and stuff like that but nothing, um, yeah nothing as of anything helpful um, we're just basically flying along nicely now. Um, we'll find somewhere to pull over, change the track over. Uh, but we're not going to do that for a second because the likelihood of us coming to a stop is probably going to be high. Um, so actually, I'm just going to stay inside because it does say that we are on a reduced speed limit. So let's just stay in here and see how we go. Right guys, I'd just like to say that we made it through. Uh, we are in France, obviously, as you would have just seen. And so far, so good. We haven't stopped, we haven't come to a halt. There isn't any traffic on any of the sat-navs. So, um, yeah, wish me luck. Um, so we'll have to basically just see what happens from now, really. Um, and hopefully we can get to down to less than nine hours of driving um, and then we can get up to the port and we should be there by tomorrow afternoon now we're all plain sailing we are back and the view is even better from this way um, basically put you on the front so you could get a better view out of the window um, whether it will actually be any good I don't really know because I don't know if you'll be able to hear me but I don't know I love it I love this bridge view out the side is insane but you can't see on the camera because of obviously um, the what's the job you called the wind protection stuff but it's so high up as well it's actually insane like I didn't realize it was this steep like we're going down it obviously like this way and it's like quite a steep hill as well so, I love it we made it through obviously all the French and Spanish stuff um, and we're obviously now heading up into France um, which is pretty cool. I'm hoping, I've been told there's a lay-by that you can get a good photo of your truck so I'm going to try and do that and we'll see what happens. Um, but yeah, I'll leave you to it for a second and hopefully we can get a photo in this next bit of us pulled over. Well guys, we are making up a great load of time again. Um, basically just running out the rest of the drive time on this nine hours today. Uh, so I've got about three hours and 42 minutes um, to go. And then that should put us about six hours from Calais tomorrow. And then hopefully we can go to Calais, tip London tomorrow afternoon. And then I don't have, my load's been changed. I don't have a load to go to Germany anymore because it's been cancelled. So we've got to find something to do after that. I'm not sure what it will be as of yet, uh, but I'm sure it will be something to keep us busy. 
Uh, I think I'm out this weekend. I can't. I don't have any plans, so I think I might as well be. Um, and then next weekend, I'll probably be home. And then it's only a couple of weeks until I go on holiday. So um, it all come down, come around quite nicely. But yeah, for now, like I say, we're just enjoying the sun. It's still 21 degrees, so it's still warm. Not crazy warm like it's been, but nice enough. Hopefully, we'll get a good sleep tonight without the aircon on. Um, but yeah, just trying to along through the nice part of France. I do like this bit. It's very um, open and green. Still travelling through the lovely countryside of France. Um, we've got just under two hours left on our day of driving for our nine hour drive. Um, and then we're going to be having nine hours off and then getting straight to the boat as I said earlier on. Um, but I just thought I'd show you guys this little cool little bridge that we're just coming up to. Uh, we just come up a big hill. This French guy in front's real fancy Volvo uh, and he flew past and then as soon as he got to the hill he's obviously heavy because he, um, but yeah, we got this bridge here. But yeah, he slowed right down. Um, but yeah, we've just been sat behind him going up the hill at like 35 miles an hour. But there's no point of overtaking him because he's look at him, he's gone. Like, he's, he's stupidly fast. Uh, just obviously, he's heavy as well. So, and he's bombing the hills. So, there's no point of uh, hanging around with him. Um, but yeah, we uh, should be um, good for. Oh, look, there's a dinosaur on that side. So, guys, we've just pulled in for the night. Um, and we just had some man, French man moaning at us because he was like Frigo and I was like yeah and then he was like he was like problem and I was like why and he was like I don't sleep with Frigo and I was like oh cool was, like good for you but uh, yeah that's us for the night not the best parking space but not really any other choice so that's us done morning guys I should say that lightly because it is actually now half past 12 um, I've been a bit slack this morning, um, but basically I parked in obviously the parking area last night where we got moaned at um, by the Belgian man um, for the fridge being on. But yeah, um, we are on the road and we are just coming back around the ring road around Rouen. Um, so yeah, this could be good fun. I'm not sure whether you're actually allowed this way like we discussed on the way out. The sign say something about a diversion, um, so we'll see what happens with that. Apologies about that again, um, I had to take that phone call. Um, so we we're on the old hands free and then it cut off everything, so it was just a bit of a nightmare. So yeah, we've just come through Ruan, as you would have just seen me come through the tunnel. Um, and now we're back on track, we've got 45 kilometers on this bit of road. We're only two and a half hours from the um, boat now. We had our 45 minute break at Ruan, did our checklist form for the immigrants. And now we're basically just smashing it straight down to Calais. Um, hopefully there won't be any problems at Calais because I've been sent a thing this morning um, with a list of all of the times and dates that they are doing the protesting and all that sort of stuff down at the, um, what's it called, down at the boat. So that's not today hopefully, that's like tomorrow and stuff, so we should be alright on that front. Um, but yeah, like I say, for now I'll just be carrying on through um, and hopefully I'll be able to update you guys a little bit later on when I see uh, or do something a bit more exciting. You know what these sort of things are here, I don't know if these are something to do with the bridge. It's a viaduct, the Della May, but it's like just the way the viaduct's built, it's over a water and a bit of land which is pretty cool. Um, I saw it on the way out so I just thought I'd jump on and show you guys now. Um, but yeah, it's a bit, bit bizarre. We're following this lorry um, through the roadworks but we've just overtaken two English lorries, well one Irish and one English, one with a fridge on and then one with a flatbed on with like loads of bits of like timber and stuff on so I don't know what that's about. It looks like it says demon or something on the front of this lorry. It's like a red lorry, I've never seen the company before. Um, but yeah, we're not that long away now, we're about an hour and 13 minutes away from the boat. Um, I've been told that it's a little bit busy down there, but uh, one of our guys is in the port and he's booked on the half past four boat. So if it's not so busy and there's still room on that boat, I should make it before half past three. So there's potential that I might be able to just get on the back of that boat. Um, so we'll see what happens there. Um, and then I'll be coming off and parking up in the UK. Uh, probably go to Cobbin Services or something like that before going in my delivery at 
around 9 o'clock tomorrow morning. So we've got plenty of time. And then I'll be rolling down. Ugh. The latest update is that we have a load from Plymouth in Scotland. So um, whether that will stay the same, we'll find out in a bit. Another one of those viaducts, they're pretty cool. Um, just it's got the thing on though, you can't really see. It hasn't got a wind protection on this side, but it's proper high up, proper cool looking viaduct. Um, yeah. It's quite a nice day now, it started raining earlier on when we were around Rouen, but now it's 17 degrees down there. Um, we're 38 minutes away. We just spoke to the lad that found at the port and he said that they just found those immigrants in the trailer next to him. Um, so that's always fun and games. But we're behind this Sing Trans from Bulgaria, so I bet he's going to the port as well. But um, yeah, that'll be a cracking day. Um, probably a reason why that wind thing's there because it's windy as hell on this bridge anyway. Um, but yeah. That's that really, nothing too exciting. Like look at some of these views from the side. Like it's insane. Like these are just on like the normal roads now, we're not on the viaduct or anything like that. Um, it's a bit of a weird mountain, like rock thing that seems to have fallen down. You'll see it in just a second. Um, it's just on the right now, the cliff seems to be disappearing and falling down the cliff. But yeah, it's proper cool. Like there's a massive rock up there on the left. Sites like this. They have diverted us down to Transmark to spin around and go back on. I hope. I hope that they are sending us back on. I also don't really want to stop because this is like prime immigrant zone uh, around Transmark and this sort of section. So I'm basically, my plan is to keep the wheels rolling as much as I can um, just in case they decide to do the old jump on ride, ride, have a good ride to the port until they get kicked off again. Um, but yeah, I don't really know what's going on. Uh, a bit of a random one. Yeah, the exit basically was shut, so we have to go left. The sat nav's saying I can go left and then left again back on, but whether we can do that or not is a different story. Um, yeah, basically. I'll have to let you guys know in a second. I'll put the time lapse on until we spin around and see what happens on the other side of the road. Right, so that makes a little bit of sense. So the road's basically shut because they're on this side of the road and they didn't want to merge us in, which makes sense. So basically they're redoing that side of the road. So nothing exciting. Um, not I say exciting, it's not exciting if we had immigrant problems, but you know, you know what I mean, nothing good for the content, uh, just apart from a bit more roadworks. Um, but yeah, I just feel sorry for people like these who like live like this close to it and they have to deal with, like I'm guessing that the immigrants are probably bothering them as much as they bother us with the lorries and stuff, but I'm not really sure to be honest. Um, I wonder if they get many problems and stuff because they're literally all in there's a field up here on the left hand side that they're all in um in tents and stuff so whether they like come out and like i don't want to say anything bad because i don't want to assume but yeah i don't know it's one of those situations but we're, we're going to be heading down literally going to be four minutes away um and then we'll get ticked uh, tips, what was it? We'll get checked in. Hopefully we'll be on the boat in an hour. Um, if not, we won't be on the boat for a couple more hours. It's kind of annoying, but it is what it is. So yeah, um, wish me luck and I shall see you guys when we pull into the port. Right, so we're just coming down into the lanes, which was just literally at the end of that carriageway that you would have just seen us coming down with the roadworks. Um, it's looking, I don't know what's going on there. It's looking nice and busy. I need to write out a list, so I just need to write out one of my numbers on a piece of paper. So I'm going to choose a lane 
with preferably a lorry, a queue of lorries, so I can just quickly write a list. I'm just going to go over here because no one else is over there. Um, I just need to write a number out and hopefully they'll do it that way. I'm not sure, we'll find out. Right, I'll join you back when we are moving forwards. All right, guys, we are all sorted. Unfortunately, we didn't get on the next boat. Um, so we're not on the boat till 6.05, which is really annoying because that's ages away, considering it's only half past three now. Um, but for now, we've got to do the French passport, which is this section here. Um, and then we've got to go, we'll get sent through the, uh, can't think what it's called, what we're going to get sent through, the scanner because it's good old Calais. I've never really come through Calais because I always try and go through Dunkirk if I can because it's just easier um, in my regards. But that's really annoying. You didn't put the right trailer reg in anyway, but it doesn't really matter. You asked me like three times what the reg was and it's literally written down on the paperwork. So I don't really understand why there was confusion, but yeah. All the joys of spring. Now we've basically got to wait for the French passport. What I am going to do is I'm just going to put the time lapse on because then with that I can just talk through it afterwards so you guys don't have to do the waiting time like waiting around now. That was long, spent about 45 minutes just waiting to get in the scanner from where you just saw us. Um, we've cleared the scanner and now obviously we're heading round to the good old British passport. Um, it seems to be nice and quiet so hopefully we'll fly through to that um, and then be in the lane. I can't remember what lane we're in. We are in lane 1029 which I think is that way from what I remember. Quite far away from everything from what I remember. Right, passports. Oh, there's a booth over there that no one's at. Let's just go all the way over here. Look at that. Let's make we're gonna notice. Let's go over here. I'm gonna have to climb across, but it's worth it. Go park in the lane for a couple of hours. Hello mate. Hello mate, right? Yeah, you? Yeah, not too bad. Stuff. There you go. Right here. George. Take last stuff for me. Come on mate. Oh, yeah. What's the last trip, mate? Oh, been alright. Man, just been down to Spain, so... Spain? Yeah, just been Barcelona for the weekend, so can't complain at that. Nice and warm, yeah? Yeah, it's been like 30 degrees. Is it? Yeah. We're going to Tenerife on the 16th, so hopefully it's similar. Nice, yeah, yeah. It's meant to be quite warm down there at the moment. Yeah, nice. Yeah. Uh, we're going away to... Uh, Three weeks we're getting a bolt right now, so hopefully that'll be warm as well. It'll be nice to go on holiday, not a, not for work for once. Absolutely. So, yeah. Cheers, mate. Have a good time. Yeah, yeah. Nice bloke, having a nice chat about some holidays. He's off to Tenerife. I did hear it was really warm down in Tenerife at the moment. Um, my stepsister is in. Um, Turkey at the moment and it's 49 degrees today. Oh, mate boy, his little van's been pulled over into his little control. All right, we want 1,029. Have a look. Let's double check that. Right. Okay, let's go and find the lane. Um, 1,029. Oh, it is right. No, I thought we were going left for some reason. Right, I wonder if our colleague is gone. He was in 1017. What's this guy doing?
Dumfries International. I think, I'm guessing that they're there in that lane because obviously they've just found immigrants earlier on. Right, that is us. Straight, as you can see down the side of the trailer, parked. Right, I right, shall so see you guys when we're on the boat. Well, I've eaten my lunch, dinner, whatever you want to call it. And now I'm just gonna head out here because we're just arriving in the port of Dover. Um, as you guys will be able to see, one of the Irish ferries and the white cliffs. So yeah, it's gonna be all rotating and spinning and parking. Now we'll be able to go and back to the lorry. Right then, that is us back in the lorry. Um, we're just waiting to be able to move again. All the orange lights are on, looking bright. Um, so we just need to let this focus. Is it gonna focus? I don't know if it will let me focus. Right, so we need to go to begin place. And we need to go to uh, United Kingdom. It might not focus. And then we need to press OK. And then we save change. All the way back, we're good to go. Right, let's get on the road. Let's go and find somewhere to park for the night. We have landed, or whatever you would call boating. Um, we are just getting off the boat now in Dover. And we have got, like I just said, um, a little bit of a run to get us somewhere parked. Uh, basically coming up at seven o'clock now. So I start at six, so I've only got two hours left today. Um, so we're just going to basically try and find somewhere reasonable to park, maybe go to Cobbin Services if there's room, um, park there for the night and then hopefully get the delivery off in the morning and then once the delivery is off in the morning I'll probably end the video there um, and then uh, we'll start the next video. But um, yeah, very good, very exciting, um, two hours it took on that boat which is definitely longer. I was always told it should only take an hour and a half, but like, it always seems to take longer. Like the Dunkirk boat should take two hours. That takes three hours. And this boat takes one and a half hours, but it actually takes two hours. So I don't really know to be honest, um, but yeah, we were all green on the screen and uh, we are all green online to say that we don't need an inspection. So that's all good. Um, so obviously the only thing that might happen now is we might get pulled by the Customs and Boza um, in the port in here. But apart from that, we're probably going to be alright. That was a hell of a bump, that was. Doesn't look very busy in here today. Uh, they make all these things so steep. Look how close this bar is to the floor. I don't want to hit anything that I own. My back bar rubs against the floor the whole way. But yeah, right, let's get out of the port and um, let's uh, get up the road. morning all um, basically we're dealing with the noise this morning because from about half past five um, these road workers decided that they were going to start coming and digging up the road and doing the piles I mean they're needed to do but um, still it's pretty keen at half past five for a, a UK person to be doing any work um, but yeah it's pretty noisy as well but yeah, truck's still looking good. Um, we parked in Clackett Lane services last night and we're just about to head off and we're about an hour away from our delivery on the outskirts of London. So I shall basically jump in the lorry and I shall see you when we're in there. We all ready? Oh, there's that big pothole. Should have driven around that. Are we all ready for another day in the exciting life of me? Um, I don't like the weather anymore, I've decided, because it's 11 degrees. I had to put socks and shoes on, and I've put a hoodie on. Um, I'm not a fan. I've literally been in t-shirt, uh, shorts, and sliders 
for the last week, um, which is really annoying. But can't have it all, can we? We're off to obviously London, which won't be any warmer because <clears throat> we're only one hour and eight minutes away. I'm hoping that we're not going to hit all the traffic, which is most likely. HGV's only straight ahead. Yes, that's us. Let's go. Um, we'll get out of here and we'll basically hit the motorway and sit in all of the uh, roadworks that they've decided to do all at the same time. Um, I'm pretty sure oh, no, we have to give way. Oh, see, why do they make services like this? Like, we shouldn't have to give way here because how am I meant to be able to see? Oh, it's ridiculous. I'm going. Can I charge my toothbrush because it's still not been charging? I just went to brush my teeth this morning and it just it had like 30 seconds in it and then it died. <coughs> Which is really annoying. Um, so I've got it going and it is actually flashing this time but it just doesn't really stay stood up. It just falls over. Um, and then it's not charging obviously. But yeah, that's enough of that gobbledygook. Um, let's get to it. Fun. I don't know whether we're in the right place. Go on. I'm just trying to work out whether we're in the right place or not. Um, I don't know if we were meant to have gone that way or we can go this way or not. That says International Trading Estate. Um, so that's interesting. A nice lady waited for us. We're just basically in like a housing estate. Very bizarre. Oh, that's the building place we need to go to. Oh, did I need to go in that industrial estate? It would be a nightmare if I need to turn around. It says industrial estate, right. Oh, deliveries. Straight. Am I down here? Goods in, that's right. Yes, we're winning. We're winning. I don't know if we're going the right way or not, but. Let's have a look. There's a man hanging out up there. I think it's on the left hand side here. Whether it's definitely not going to be lorry suitable, is it? Because. All right, no idea. Goods in. Is, it get, is the barrier going to stay open for us? Do we go for it? I'm going for it. Committed. Going fast because I'm scared. I don't know where the goods in is, so I'm just going to pull in over here. Out the way. Put the hazard lights on. Stop for a second here and go and find someone. Right, so he was like, I'm not sure what bay's free. Well, they're all free. He told me to go on to Bay Free as well, keep the doors closed um, and back on the bay. So what I'm gonna do is just take the padlocks off and then I'm gonna back onto the bay or near the bay and then wait and see what happens. Well guys, um, we actually got tipped and it was all good. Um, the only problem was I couldn't film anything more because I got, uh, well, I had to sit in a room um, and basically wait to be tipped. Um, which was kind of annoying because it was just like literally a room with two blokes who were just chatting a load of rubbish the whole time and it was boring and annoying. Um, but yeah, so we got tipped and like I say, that'll be the end of this video. Um, you can just see now us heading back out towards the M4 um, on the time lapse. So it was obviously a lot busier being later on in the day now. Um, but yeah, we made it back out, made it onto the M25. Uh, headed down the M3 and headed back to the yard. Um, but yeah, thank you very much for watching and I shall see you guys in the next video.